Hello again, agents. Welcome back to another intruder tutorial video. This time I'm probably going to be going over the two maps that we have, as well as uh, each one of their respective game modes. Theirs is not a word, but uh, let's roll with it. So I'm going to start with Riverside. Um, I don't know why, I guess it just comes up first, and that's why. Uh, uh, you could take the time to read this little snippet over here um, pause the video I guess because I'm gonna keep going um, so what I'm actually gonna do right now is overlay a blueprint floor plan of this map it's multi-level as you can see by this picture um, so it might be a bit complicated but don't worry about it I'm also gonna keep that picture um, up throughout this whole throughout the whole time of me going through the level itself and highlighting the places I'm visiting so that yeah you'll be able to follow along easily. I'm going to go ahead into Bravo this time. They're ba they're all the same thing. Uh, they just ha they ha all have the same map. They're just different servers, so you can play on the same map in parallel. Uh, now, I'm not quite going to get into the game mode just yet. Um, I'm going to first show off and walk through the level. So I'm going to join the guard team again. I don't know why. Now, the guard team... So, before I start... Um, let's highlight the fact that um, the map is essentially split up into three areas. We've got the guard side, which is the side I'm located on uh, in right now. We've got the intruder side, which is th that building basically. And then we have the third area is um, anything in between. So we've got the water, we've got the bridge, and we've got the garden on the other side. <clears throat> right over there that's the garden so this is the middle bit that's the intruder side and I'm currently in the guard side now uh, the guard side has basically uh, three notable parts to it four actually the first one being the spawn area which is where I am right now this is where I spawned the second being the what's called the top package or the lot the lab package it is this. I haven't explained what this is quite yet because that has to do with the game mode, but just remember that it's there. The third place is upstairs, all the way at the top, the top floor. And that is the sniper room, lab B, technically, and it appears to be locked. So the sniper rifle is right there. You can pick it up hitting by hitting V. V is interact. And now I can equip it and use G, which is my secondary, to zoom in with it. Um, and the fourth place of interest is what's called the bottom package or the basement package. That is located all the way at the bottom in this room right here, which also is locked. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Rob Storm. And there it is. Now, guards can actually pick these up because they're not meant for them, but uh, like I said, part of the game mode. Um, so I'm going to walk through, I guess, and talk about different bits. So this ladder over here leads to the water. Um, guards will basically never have to use this ladder unless they fall into the water. Um, it's used to get, it, supposing you're, you're an intruder, so you're going to be starting off over on that side. You can, there, like I mentioned, there are three ways to get over to the guard side from uh, from the intruder side. One is using the bridge, which is right there. One is using the garden, which is over there. And one is using the water, which I'm in right now. So intruders that will come in through the water will swim all the way over here and then use this ladder to get into the guard side. There is also a vent system, uh, but it actually goes underneath the bridge, so I guess it's part of it. So we've got that. This is called the stairwell, this little bit. So if you hear people saying, you know, run to the stairwell, th that's what this is. Sniper rooms over here. We've got office buildings everywhere. Couple good hiding spots. Good sniping spots. Remember, the key is to explore. Any places that I don't go into, probably because I just don't feel like it, but you should definitely check out anything you can. This is the sniper room. It's just an another door to get in. So this is the top of the bridge. You can actually shoot out the window. 
and jump down onto it. So now I'm walking on the bridge. Not gonna do that yet because I haven't really gone through this this entire side of the map. Now, supposing somebody comes in through the garden, um, he's got two ways to get inside the building. One is through what's called the rocks, which are these massive uh, rocks over here. So they'd come through the garden, and then they'd hop up onto these rocks and straight into the building. The second would be through the garage, which is down there, that little opening, and I'm going to get there in a sec. So that's that. We've got two little bathroom bathrooms over here which don't really do much. Alright, that covers this level. Let's go back downstairs to the middle level, I guess, the second floor. This is the top lab, that's the spawn area with the offices. This is the balcony. This is the bridge. Um, over here we've got the bathrooms. Now, there were a couple other bathrooms, but these are basically the bathrooms you're interested in because they have an entrance to the vent system. So if intruders will be coming through the vents, they'll probably be coming out of here. Either here or in the basement, but we haven't gotten there yet. So that just leads to the vents. You can open up stall doors as well. They're a pretty good hiding spot. And over here we have the women's bathroom, which doesn't really have anything interesting. Over here we have a little room with a vent and I don't exactly remember where this vent leads which is kind of embarrassing oh yeah I remember okay it goes to some storage room on the bottom level so I don't find myself using this vent very often but uh, it's there you can use it <laughs> it also has openings over here so you can actually uh, observe certain areas of the map without being seen it's very hard to be seen through these through these grills and here is where we get off. So this is the storage room. Uh, oh god, every door is locked. Not good at all. Okay, so here's the stairwell. This is the ladder that goes down to the, to the water. Now we're on the bottom floor, basically. The bathrooms um, where the vent, vent entrances are, are over there, just to give you a bit of perspective, in case you got confused. So that's the door I went through to get to the bathrooms. And the two grills that you saw me uh, looking out of in the vent are these two grills right here. Um, so the garage is over on in here. And this is all there is to it. This is the little opening which leads out into the garden. So this is a garden. We're not going to go through there just yet on the rocks over there. This is the bottom lab, and has these little openings over here which you can use to, you know, scout the garden. You can also jump out up top over here, it's, I don't know, it's kind of hard. Doing weird jumps and stuff is kind of weird. Over here we have the basement, so we made a full circle. Here's the storage room with, with the vent. Here's the ladder which goes down into the water. So we went through there and then we went all the way around through the lab and came out of here. And here's the basement. So you've got this room back here. Of course you got the package. You've got this room right here which you can hide in. Doesn't really serve much purpose. Um, well I say that, probably does. And here we have an a another vent opening. Leads right into the basement. Okay, that's uh, pretty much the whole guard side. Let's go into the garden now. Now this is one of the ways to get between buildings, between sides rather. Um, so there's the bridge, it's a better view of it. Here we've got the intruder side and there's the guard side. That's the lab on the bottom. The sniper room is right there, those windows, which are kind of hard to see from here. Those windows right there, the one that I just shot, that's the sniper room. Over here we've got the guardhouse thing. We've got a way to get up to the top of the intruder side, but we're not going to do that just yet. We've got this awesome truck, the tires of which you can actually shoot out. 
And then we've got this weird purple thing. Now this is a capture point. This is part of the whole game mode thing. Haven't gotten there just yet. Bear with me. That purple thing is a capture point. Remember where it is. It's in the garden. Alright. So this is the lobby, I think it's called, or the foyer. Um, I don't know, I can't remember the name of it. And up here we have the intruder spawn. This hallway is where the intruders spawn, around, usually around this area. Um, if we head on over this way. There aren't m many things of interest over on this side. We've got the capture points. One is in the garden and one is on the docks down there. Uh, there's also the sniper room, which I'll show you in a sec. And the spawn. So the spawn's over there, the capture points are over there. And the sniper I'm going to get to in a second. This is the bridge, the other side of it. So walking through here will take you straight to uh, straight to the guard side. And we're back here. Awkward silence. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to get into the sniper room, which is good if you want the sniper. Oh, we also have the elevator. I'll get to that. The sniper room is all the way at the end of the hallway on the right, so it's this room, which is locked. It has a keypad, which can be accessed by using the V key, but you need a combination to get into it. So the combination is uh, printed out on a disgustingly large and inefficient and not very wor global warming friendly A2 piece of paper, which usually spawns in one of these rooms. And they're also binoculars, which you can pick up. Um, they were added to the game pretty recently. But they're not bound to anything. I guess I can bind them to uh, to plus since, or equals, whatever. Since that button didn't really do anything. Uh, except it's not coming up. That's weird. Um, anyway, so it's gonna either be in in this room. It's gonna be on this end of the hall, all the way in the opposite end of the hall. So it's either gonna be in this room, either in this room on the desk, or on the desk over here, or on the desk over here, which it happens to be or on the shelf over here, or on the shelf over here. So, once we find the piece of paper, we can hit V on it. The password is 1877, if I can remember that. 1877. Over here we've got the printer room. This is, uh, this is used in a different game mode, whatever. Um, oh, fuck. Wow, I missed two of them, that's not really good. Oh, three. We've just got another office, they're pretty generic except this one this one's a bit different this one has this weird thing over here which you can hide behind so 1877 we're gonna hit V to access the pad and there we go and there's the intruder sniper rifle right there it's kinda hard to see because it's super dark and over here we have three sets of cameras the cameras are uh, around the map you can actually see them I'll, I might walk past the one on the bridge and show it to you. So here we're overlooking the bridge and we get two angles of the foyer lobby area, I guess. One from either side of it. Cool, cool. We also have a whole map. I don't actually know where that is. It's kind of shaped like like Hong Kong, but it says Caribbean Sea, so it must be somewhere around that area. Who cares? I don't care. Geography, who needs it? We've got the elevator which you can call by hitting V. Um, when things turn red, it means you can interact with them. So it turned red before I clicked on it, and now it's white. The elevator's coming up, but we don't really want to take it. So that's this floor, the top floor. We go down to the uh, this floor right here. We've got the lobby. Uh, we've got this little area. This grill actually goes into the main uh, vent system, and the main vent system can be accessed on the intruder side through this room over here jumping up onto these lockers and opening this and this will lead you straight into the vents and if you go through you'll eventually reach a fork going one way will take you to the bathrooms on the guard side and going the other way will lead you to the basement if you remember that there is an opening in each one of those rooms so you can get to them through here uh, that's the garden and the way up to the top I'll probably leave that for last and now, the only thing underneath us now, pretty much, is the docks. Oh, shit. Okay, I didn't... Oh!
Ouch. <laughs> that was pretty brutal. I want to switch teams. Alright, so we spawned as an intruder, and now we're in the intruder spawn. Uh, let's try not to fall out this time. <laughs> so we've got the docks, and that's where we're going to head to next. Now there are a couple ways to get to the docks. One is jump into the water and not die. One is go through the go with the elevator. Um, one is to go down through here, this room. And if you hop out this way, oh, you can actually access this. Uh, there are vines over here which you can climb down. You can actually reach them from the offices on the top floor. So we're back on basically where the intruder team spawns right here this hallway so that's how you get to this to these uh, vines and you can climb up and down them to get to the docks the docks are good if you want to get into the water um, or if you want to capture so the elevator opening is over here and there are three floors the elevator has three openings you can actually get into the elevator shaft and climb up it and in here you've got this First of all, you can get into the elevator by climbing on top of it and opening this shaft. That's how you can get in. Uh, another thing is you've got this platform over here which you can jump onto. Oh god. Okay, so before I got rudely interrupted by a couple of people, Steve or even, I uh, was showing you this vent shaft right here. So we've got this platform up about halfway through the vent. And this platform will let you get access into this weird room over here who's which the purpose of which is pretty unknown um, but yeah you there's a little vent shaft over here that I can I think I can get through I'm starting to doubt myself here we go um, so this vent will lead us back up into the intruder side we need some elevator music So this leads us back up into this area. So here's the lobby. There's a staircase going up into the intruder spawn area. This is the office room with the vines through that window. And that's where we came out of, right over there. And this other little opening will, will lead us to a side bathroom which you can use to get out into the garden, hopefully, yep. This is the back of the building, and around this way is the garden. It's the other side of it. And that's the ladder inside the elevator shaft. So let's head on back out this way. Every door. And then we've got one more bathroom over here, which is the women's bathroom, and it's got nothing except another way of getting out into uh, into the garden. There's no way to actually get into the elevator shaft from outside of it. The glass is unbreakable, so keep that in mind. And I think that pretty much covers it. Oh, there's one thing I I forgot. I didn't actually get to the docks, did I? I didn't show you the docks themselves, because there are a couple things regarding the dock which are pretty important. Alright, so one is, supposing you fall into the water, there are two ways to get back up to the docks. One is this ladder right here. And the other is the little ramp over on this side. Which will basically lead you straight into the capture point. It's right here. These are the two ways to get onto the docks. You can't actually jump on here. Alright, so that's, uh, I think that pretty much pretty much covers this whole map. Uh, I don't think I missed anything. And if I did, that just means that you got something to look for. Because this, these maps are pretty complex. Well, this one is. The second map isn't as complex, but it is pretty complex. Uh, okay, we might as well talk about how... Uh, talk about the game mode itself that takes place in this map. So, in this map, the intruders... Um, have to capture two one of one of two packages which are located on the guard side and bring them bring bring it back to one of two capture points and I showed what those two are 
you can actually see where all your objectives are using uh, the menu and hitting on objectives. So that's the top lab package. That is where the basement package is located through that door. Uh, there's the docks capture point and there's the garden capture point. So now you know how to get to each one of them. You know the context of these pictures. That's awesome. So I'm going to demonstrate what a, what the flow of a match would look like. We'd spawn up there as an intruder. Uh, we'd pick a way to get over to the guard side, either the bridge, vents, water, or garden. I'm going to go through the vents because I haven't done that yet. Of course, it's going to be locked. Oh shit, god damn it. Alright, so go prone, hop into the vent. Now the vent is probably the worst place to get ambushed because there's so little room and when you're bunched up with a couple of your teammates it's just so easy to completely lose the round by getting picked off. So we've got a grill over here that overlooks the lobby area. This is like pretty damn slow. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. 99 bottles of beer. Take one down, pass it around. 98 bottles of beer on the wall. Alright, so over here we've got the fork. Down here we have a grill which looks down into one of the labs. That door will basically lead you to the basement, just to give you a bit of context, and the garage is out that way. Um, through that way is, the, the way I'm going right now is the, uh, will lead you to the bathrooms and the guard side. Uh, it's so slow, there's nothing you can do about it. So, open this by using the scroll wheel, and you're out in the bathrooms and the guard side. That's all cool. And if we would have gone the other way, you would have arrived at the basement. It's gonna take ages. Where were we? 98? 98 bottles of beer on the wall. 98 bottles of beer. Take one down, pass it around. 97 bottles of beer on the wall. 97 bottles of beer on the wall. 97 bottles of beer. <laughs> Take one down, pass it around. 96 bottles of beer on the wall. 96 bottles of beer on the wall. 96 bottles of beer. Take one down, pass it around. 95 bottles of beer on the wall. All right, cool. So we've made it to the basement. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab the package by hitting V. Now it is actually possible to jump back up into the vent, but it is super hard to do and probably not recommended as you'd be wasting a lot of time. Um, but I have done it a couple of times in the past. It, it's just you have to totally fluke it. Um, so I'm going to head out of the basement gonna reach this lab this is the grill that we were looking out from through the, you know from the vents that's the door that leads to the basement and we're probably gonna go out through the garden so we're gonna head to the garage so we're in the garage right now crouch through this opening out into the garden and we're gonna capture using the capture point in the garden but it doesn't matter which one we go to now keep in mind that you probably don't want to be hopping around like this because you're pretty exposed you're gonna have to gonna want to be crouching through the bushes or something but the package is pretty obvious it contrasts very sharply against the greenery so you want to think about that when you're walking through with the package on your back and there we go capture the package <laughs> victory somersault okay so I hope that pretty much explains what you have to do the guards as an intruder you have to capture the package as a guard you have to prevent that from happening. That's pretty much it. Not so complicated. I think that pretty much covers this level. Awesome. I might end this part over here and move on to the second map. Uh, so I'll do that. Thanks a lot for tuning in and watching. Hope you have fun playing this game and finding cool stuff out, which I didn't go over. Bye. Steel Raven, go away. I'm I'm recording. Leave.
Okay, just just ignore Steel Raven Seven and this guy. Oh God, I'm I'm recording something. I'm not playing. Get out of here. <laughs> Fucking noobs. <laughs> oh boy. I could join Alpha. I guess I could join Alpha. This is totally going on, on the blooper gag reel. Thanks a lot. Okay. No. No shout outs. I forbid you. I'm gonna censor the screen. Okay. I, this is taking too long. I'm gonna switch servers. You guys can play here. I'm gonna go to Alpha.